Dear friends, this video is chapter 3 of basic skill of concrete batching plant. Useful to construction professional and technicians working in construction industry. We will discuss about A. Understanding concrete mix design and specifications. B. Types of aggregates, cement, and admixtures of concrete batching plant. C. Calibration of weighing systems of concrete batching plant. We'll start presenting a new topic now. A. Understanding concrete mix design and specifications. Concrete mix design is a systematic process used to determine the proportions of various ingredients, cement, aggregates, water, and sometimes admixtures, that should be combined to create a concrete mixture with specific properties and performance characteristics. These properties typically include strength, durability, workability, and other desired attributes. Concrete mix specifications are the detailed instructions or guidelines that outline the desired properties and proportions for a specific concrete application. Here's an overview of both concepts. Concrete mix design. 1. Determine the requirements. The first step in concrete mix design is to understand the specific requirements of the project. These requirements are often provided by the project engineer or architect and include factors like the required compressive strength, exposure conditions, example indoor, outdoor, freeze thaw exposure, workability, and any special considerations, example lightweight concrete. 2. Select the materials. Next, select the materials that will be used in the concrete mixture. This includes choosing the type and brand of cement, the type and grading of aggregates, sand, gravel, crushed stone, and the quality of water. 3. Proportioning. Based on the requirements and the properties of the selected materials, determine the ideal proportions of each ingredient. The mix design process typically uses mathematical calculations and trial batches to find the right mix. 4. Admixtures. Consider whether any chemical or mineral admixtures, example superplasticizers, air and training agents, fly ash, should be added to improve the performance of the concrete mixture. 5. Testing and adjustment. Conduct laboratory tests and trials to evaluate the properties of the concrete mixture, such as slump, compressive strength, and durability. Adjust the mix proportions as needed to meet the desired specifications. 6. Final mix design. Once the ideal mix proportions are determined and the concrete meets the desired properties, document the final mix design. This document includes the exact proportions of each ingredient, admixtures used, and test results. Concrete mix specifications. Concrete mix specifications are detailed documents that provide specific information about the concrete mix to be used in a construction project. These specifications are typically prepared by structural engineers, architects, or construction project managers and are based on the project's design and performance requirements. Specifications include the following. 1. Mix proportions. The specifications will specify the exact proportions of cement, aggregates, and water to be used in the concrete mix. This information is often presented in terms of weight or volume percentages. 2. Strength requirements. The required compressive strength of the concrete at various ages, example 7 days, 28 days, is a critical part of the specifications. 3. Workability. The specifications may outline the desired workability of the concrete, which can be measured using the slump test or other workability tests. 4. Durability requirements. Depending on the project's exposure conditions, example marine environment, freeze thaw cycles, durability related requirements may be specified. This can include minimum cement content, maximum water cement ratio, and the use of specific admixtures. 5. Admixtures. If chemical or mineral admixtures are to be used, the specifications will provide details about their type, dosage, and purpose. 6. Quality control. The specifications often include requirements for quality control testing and inspection procedures to ensure that the concrete produced on site meets the specified criteria. 7. Curing and protection. Instructions for curing and protecting the concrete after placement may also be included in the specifications. 8. Testing and acceptance criteria. The specifications will outline the testing methods and acceptance criteria that will be used to evaluate the concrete's properties during and after construction. 9. Delivery and placement. Specifications may include information on concrete delivery methods, mixing, transportation, and placement techniques. In summary, concrete mix design is the process of determining the proportions of concrete ingredients to meet specific performance requirements, while concrete mix specifications provide detailed instructions for producing concrete that conforms to the project's design and performance needs. Proper mix design and adherence to specifications are essential for ensuring the quality and durability of concrete structures. B. Types of aggregates, cement, and admixtures of concrete batching plant. Concrete batching plants are equipped with various types of aggregates, cement, and admixtures to produce different concrete mixtures for construction projects. Here are the main types of aggregates, cement, and admixtures commonly used in concrete batching plants. Aggregates 1. Fine aggregates, sand. 
Fine aggregates are typically natural sand or crushed stone sand with particle sizes smaller than 5 mm. They are used to fill voids in the concrete matrix and improve workability. 2. Coarse aggregates, gravel and crushed stone. Coarse aggregates are larger particles ranging from 5 mm to several inches in size. They provide bulk and strength to the concrete mixture. 3. Recycled aggregates. Recycled aggregates, such as crushed concrete or reclaimed asphalt pavement, wrap, can be used as a sustainable option to replace natural aggregates in some concrete mixes. 4. Lightweight aggregates. Lightweight aggregates, like expanded clay, shale, or pumice, are used to produce lightweight concrete for applications where reduced weight is critical, such as in precast concrete or structural components. Cement. 1. Portland cement. Portland cement is the most common type of cement used in concrete production. It comes in various types, including type 1, normal, type 2, moderate sulfate resistance, type 3, high early strength, and type 5, sulfate resistant. 2. Blended cements. Blended cements combine Portland cement with supplementary cementitious materials, SCMs, like fly ash, slag cement, or silica fume. These cements can enhance concrete performance, improve durability, and reduce environmental impact. 3. Specialty cements. Some specialized projects may require other types of cement, such as expansive cement, for controlled shrinkage, white cement, for architectural applications, or colored cement, for decorative concrete. Admixtures. 1. Water reducing admixtures. Water reducing admixtures, also called plasticizers, improve workability and reduce the water content needed for a given slump, resulting in stronger and more durable concrete. 2. Set retarding admixtures. These admixtures slow down the setting time of concrete, which can be beneficial when dealing with long-distance transportation or large pores. 3. Accelerating admixtures. Accelerators, like calcium chloride or non-chloride alternatives, speed up the setting and early strength development of concrete, which can be useful in cold weather or time-sensitive projects. 4. Air entraining admixtures. Air entraining agents are added to concrete to create tiny air bubbles that enhance freeze-thaw resistance and improve workability. 5. Super plasticizers. Super plasticizers are high-range water-reducing admixtures that can provide exceptional workability and flowability without increasing the water content. 6. Retarding super plasticizers. These admixtures combine the properties of set retarders and super plasticizers, allowing for delayed setting while maintaining workability. 7. Corrosion inhibiting admixtures. These admixtures are used to protect reinforced concrete from corrosion caused by chlorides or carbonation. 8. Shrinkage reducing admixtures. Shrinkage reducing admixtures can help control the shrinkage and cracking of concrete as it cures. 9. Fiber reinforcing admixtures. Fibers such as steel, polypropylene, or glass can be added to concrete to enhance its toughness and resistance to cracking. 10. Coloring admixtures. Coloring agents can be added to concrete to achieve specific color effects for decorative purposes. The choice of aggregates, cement, and admixtures depends on the project's requirements, environmental considerations, cost constraints, and regional availability. Concrete mix designs are carefully tailored to meet the desired performance characteristics and project specifications while taking into account these materials and their properties. C. Calibration of weighing systems of concrete batching plant. Calibration of weighing systems in a concrete batching plant is a critical process to ensure accurate and consistent measurement of the ingredients, such as aggregates, cement, water, and admixtures, used in the production of concrete. Proper calibration helps maintain the quality and performance of the concrete, which is essential in construction projects. Here are the steps involved in calibrating weighing systems in a concrete batching plant. 1. Gather necessary equipment. 1A. Calibration weights. You will need a set of certified calibration weights with known and traceable mass values. 1B. Measuring tools, calipers, rulers, or vernier calipers may be required to measure dimensions accurately. 2. Preparation. 2a. Ensure the batching plant is clean, and all weighing equipment is free from debris or any materials that could affect the accuracy of measurements. 2b. Make sure the plant is at its operating temperature to avoid temperature-related measurement errors. 3. Tear calibration. 3a. Begin by calibrating the tear weight of the scales or weighing equipment. This step ensures that the equipment correctly subtracts the weight of containers or hoppers from the total measurement. 3b. Place an empty container or hopper on the scale and zero the equipment. This step sets the tear weight to zero. 4. Initial weighing system check. Conduct an initial check to ensure that the weighing system is functioning correctly. Ensure that all connections and sensors are in good working order. 
5. Calibration of individual components. 5a. For each component, example, aggregates, cement, water, admixtures, you will need to calibrate the respective weighing system. 5b. Place the calibrated weights, from step 1, onto the weighing system. For example, if calibrating the aggregate scale, use calibrated weights that represent typical aggregate weights. 5c. Compare the measured weight to the known weight of the calibration masses. Adjust the calibration factor until the measured weight matches the known weight. 5d. Repeat this process for each component being calibrated. 6. Record and document. 6a. Maintain detailed records of the calibration process, including the calibration weights used, measurements, and adjustments made. 6b. Document the calibration factors for each component to ensure that the batching plant operators can use them for ongoing operations. 7. Verification and testing. After calibration, conduct tests to verify the accuracy of the weighing systems. Weigh standard quantities of materials to ensure that the measurements are consistent and accurate. 8. Regular maintenance and recalibration. Schedule regular maintenance and recalibration of the weighing systems to ensure continued accuracy. The frequency of recalibration need depend on usage and environmental factors. 9. Training. Train plant operators and personnel on the correct procedures for using the calibrated weighing systems and maintaining their accuracy. 10. Quality control. Implement a quality control program to monitor the accuracy of weighing systems during routine operations. Address any issues promptly to maintain product quality. Properly calibrated weighing systems are essential for producing concrete mixtures that meet the required specifications and quality standards. Regular maintenance, calibration checks, and quality control procedures should be part of the standard operating practices for a concrete batching plant. Friends, we have explained in brief about concrete batching plant raw material, understanding concrete mix design and specifications, types of aggregates, cement, and admixtures of concrete batching plant, calibration of weighing systems of concrete batching plant. We request all to mention your view and requirement in comments section of YouTube video also like and share to your friend. Friend. Also subscribe our YouTube channel Inframechanizer, this is 100% free.